The Ebony State Government has ordered members of the Judiciary Staff Union of Nigeria in the state to immediately suspend their industrial action or be sat. Justin members in the state embarked on the indefinite strike on August 13 over non-implementation of the consolidated judiciary salary structure by the state government. The union defied Governor David Omahi's threat at a recent state function to sack its members if they embark on the strike. The government's order for the strike suspension was contained in a statement issued on Friday in Abakiliki by Ebony Head of Service Chamberlain Uwele, mandating the Justin leadership to immediately comply with the order. And joining us now to discuss this is our Liberty Useni, Coordinator, Media Advocacy, West Africa Foundation. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Useni. Good morning and thanks for having me. Yeah, I would like to ask, is threatening the members the best approach to reach them? No, it is not and it has never been. Uh, it's unfortunate that the governors and other political elites do not even understand we are in democracy. They don't even understand that employment is contractual. They don't understand. And they don't even understand that people who go to work, staff or state civil servant, have the right to renegotiate or to discuss their welfare. It is, it is unfortunate that the option that a Bonn state governor has is to threaten the workers. Either they resume or they get sad. It's not done anywhere. And, and, and I think across the state or across the country, state governors who do not have the capacity to come to negotiating table must not use threats as an instrument or coercive state power as an instrument for negotiation it's not going to happen because workers are not going to take that. The people are asking implement consolidated salary scheme agreed upon by the state. You are not doing that. You are not providing explanation why that will not be done. But what you have decided to do is to say they either resume or they, you, they get sacked. If you sack them, where are you even going to get people that will replace them? I think it's unfortunate we are going in this direction. And this is not the way to go. Now, the governor uh, has uh, complained of a steady decline of the state resources. But uh, the workers want an increase. Where do you think the middle ground should be? See, the truth of the matter is... It is totally laughable. It's, it's, it's unacceptable when these governors come out to say there's no money. Of course, we understand there's COVID-19. But the reality is, don't forget that these governors collect huge amount of money as security vote. Across the state, even at the federal level, they have not shown um, any sign that these people are trying to, to, to minimize or, you know, the... The, the effect of COVID-19. They have not, we have not seen any court of governors. We, not, we have not seen court in governors. We have not seen how the governors or the other, even at the federal level, are trying to spend less or to show that we are in COVID-19, we are having crisis. So these guys should stop telling people how much is even the salary. How much, for God's sake? The people who want their salary, don't also forget, don't also forget that as we speak today, as we speak today, a bag of rice in Nigerian market, foreign bag of rice in Nigerian market, is started at 1,000 naira. So if you are refusing to even pay these people consolidated salary, how are they going to, to, to work? So the governor should realize they collect big money in terms of security vote. And there are other ways to make money. So there are other ways to generate money. To say you either resume or you get you get sacked. It, it's a screwed way. It is it is crude. It's unacceptable. And people who go to public office, people who contest election and decide to serve the people, they must realize that the only reason they go to public office to, is to solve societal problems. You don't go there to make excuses. You don't go there to make complaints. If the governor say that 
there are no money in this state. Sorry, there is no money in this state. We want to see the state governors. We want to see him sack or reduce number of aides who contribute nothing to the state. We want to see him reduce his number of convoy. We want to see him do that. When the workers see him reduce all this, they also realize that the state is working hard. But not by the time you live a lot of uh, um, expensive life, you're coming back to tell people. And don't also forget, we are talking about judiciary workers. We are talking about judiciary workers. We are not talking about, with a special kind of state workers. So, so, so they need to be treated and the state needs to implement the agreement reach. You don't reach agreement for the sake of political uh, interest or for the sake of political convenience. And when they ask you to do what you have you promised to do, you, you start saying they, they, are, they rather resume or get sacked. It's, it's not acceptable. This is not democracy. And in democratic setting, this kind of behavior shouldn't be allowed to take place. Now, what if the workers refused? Do you think the governor would really go go on on his word uh, regarding sacking the workers? This is not. But state governor is not the only governor that has issued this kind of threat. Even the time of Abacha, this happened, and Abacha couldn't do it. The governor can't do it, and he can't do it. And if he does that, the people will go to court. And I believe you me, they are likely going to win in court. So threatening them is not the solution. And I dare the governor to sack them. And he does that, he's gonna lose in the court. The caucus win and they see good get back. And then he shouldn't forget. A governor of a state, he has just a four, he has I think he has an additional four years to stay, or three years to stay. And even if he does that, at, at, in the end. These guys win, and they should also remember that posterity is waiting for all of us. So, 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 uh, it's laughable. And even the state, uh, the state official who came to and um, do this announcement, he should also realize time comes when the Ateno will come to an end. And I also, and this is where I expected the Nigerian Labour Congress to come into play, not even only at the state chapter, but even at the federal level. The Nigerian Labour Congress should come out to protect the interests of our workers, in respect of whether private, any, 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 any category, because it's important, because if you allow this to continue, but, you know, you know, time comes when people will now say, if you don't come to work, you get sacked. It, 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 makes, it, it, it makes us look, um, it makes the country look so comic before the Committee of Nation because people look at us and we are not serious uh, people. Thank you for your thoughts on that uh, issue, Mr. Osini. Thank you for having me. All right.